Welcome to the Sussex Warren Area Energy Cooperative educational video brought to you by Commercial Utility Consultants and Concord Energy Services. What is energy deregulation? Energy deregulation is the separation of distribution and supply. New Jersey has been deregulated since 1999. Since then, approximately 18% of the residential customer base has switched to a third-party supplier that they have chosen. As illustrated in the picture below, before 1999, your local distribution company would generate electricity and bill for the supply and distribution portion of your bill. After 1999, your local distribution company is only responsible for the distribution of your electricity. They must buy electricity from third-party electric suppliers. Your local distribution company will still bill you for the distribution and supply portion of your bill, but will remit the supply portion to the suppliers who generated the electricity. In order to make up your current rate, the New Jersey Board of Public Utilities, also known as the BPU, runs an annual statewide auction. The results of the auction make up the basic generation service portion of your utility bill, which is also known as the supply portion. On your current electric bill, you can see these charges by finding the line item BGS, or basic generation services. The last BPU auction was held in February 2017. Here is a look at some of the suppliers who make up the current BGS default rate. BP Energy Company, Exelon Generation Company, and TransCanada Power Marketing to name a few. What is Government Energy Aggregation? The Government Energy Aggregation Act of 2003 was passed allowing counties and municipalities to aggregate their load and compete for a cheaper electric price versus the local distribution company. In 2012, NJAC Title 14 was passed, allowing municipalities to aggregate the residential users to compete for a cheaper price versus the local distribution company. All contracts and bid documents are sent to the BPU and Rate Council for review. The Department of Community Affairs also known as the DCA, has oversight over the entire auction process. Here's a look at the Sussex Warren Area Energy Cooperative's auction results for Green and Freeland Housing Townships. The auction was held on July 19, 2017. The winning supplier was IDT Energy. For JCP&L residents, the winning rate was 0 .086 per kilowatt hour versus the JCP&L default rate of 0 .0951 per kilowatt hour. The rate is fixed for the 13-month term starting October 2017. Here's what you can expect next. You should have received a letter from your municipality explaining the program. The letter will also include information regarding IDT Energy, the winning rate, and options available should you choose not to participate. The program only includes residents who are not currently with a third-party supplier and solar customers. The form letter was developed by the BPU and includes program information and options regarding non-participation in the program including a mail return, an 800 number, and a website. After the initial opt-out period, your utility, JCP&L, will send a switchover letter. The letter will come directly from JCP&L and will confirm your exact start date with IDT Energy. IDT Energy will begin serving electric supply with your next available meter read date in October 2017. Please note the yellow arrow. The only line item that will change 
is where it's marked BGS Energy. This line item will be replaced with Tri Eagle Energy. Please note the yellow arrow, the only line item that will change, is where it's marked BGS Energy. This line item will be replaced with IDT Energy and the rate through the program. You will still receive one bill from JCPNL. JCPNL will now remit the supply portion to IDT Energy rather than the auction winning suppliers that make up the BGS energy charge. Here are some frequently asked questions. Who do I call if my electric goes out? You will still call JCPNL as they remain responsible and always will be responsible for the distribution lines entering your home. Will I be penalized if I do not become part of this program? No, you may choose not to participate in the program at any time for any reason with no fees or penalty. Will there be a different or two separate bills? No, you will still receive one bill from JCPNL. Does this hurt JCPNL? No, JCPNL will always remain your distribution company. They will still bill you for the distribution and supply. The only change is that JCPNL will now remit the supply portion to IDT Energy rather than the suppliers that won the statewide auction that make up the BGS default rate provided by your local distribution company. Who do I call with billing questions? You may still call JCPNL or IDT Energy. If I cancel, can I resume participation? Yes. You may opt in or out at any time for any reason. Is budget billing offered? Yes. If you are currently enjoy budget billing, you can continue budget billing. Please see your energy information pack for your specific utility information. What if I already have a third party supplier? If you are currently on a third party electric supplier, we recommend that you wait until the end of your contract and then you may opt into the program. Why do I have to respond in order to not participate? The opt-out option is an aspect of the program written by the Board of Public Utilities. The law requires us to follow the statutory guidelines in order to establish and participate in this type of program. Thank you for watching.